A geometry summary. Oh, yeah, go on. And adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other. They, say, they share the same vertex and the same ray. Complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees. For example, 61 plus 29 equals 90. Supplementary angles are, are angles that equal 180. For example, 108 plus 72 equals 180. Angles at a point add up to 360. In this case, it's 90 plus 210 which equals 300, uh, and x must equal 60. Where two straight lines cross, the angles opposite each other are vertically opposite. <laughs> vertically opposite angles are equal. There are three types of angles that we look at in parallel lines. Alternate angles are angles that form a z. Alternate angles are equal. Corresponding angles make an F. Corresponding angles are also equal. Co-interior angles are both on the inside of the parallel lines and they form a C shape. They both set up to 180 degrees and therefore are supplementary. Everyone knows the angle sum of a triangle equals 180. In this case, x equals 28. The angle sum of quadrilaterals equal, equals 360 degrees. This is because a quadrilateral is two triangles. 180 plus 180 equals 360. Any polygon can actually be cut up into triangles. So here we can see the angle sum of a pentagon is 540 degrees. As we investigated, we saw that the number of triangles was always two less than the number of sides. The isosceles, tri isosceles triangle has two equal sides and two equal angles. We call these angles base angles. The base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Equal laterals have three equal sides and three equal angles. Each of these angles must be 60 degrees, which equals 180 degrees. An exterior angle is created when you extend one of the sides. This is the exterior angle here. The exterior angle is the supplement of the interior angle. It is also equal to the sum of the other interior angles. Brought to you by your own math, Mr. Coey. A bit of explain everything magic. <laughs>